In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Before we listen to the good news of our prophets, and before we listen to Jesus Christ and the gospel, before we share the body and blood of the risen Christ at this altar, let us continue to ask our loving God to be patient with us and to forgive us our faults. Lord Jesus, you are the great prophet for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you show compassion toward all your people. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us all, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, good God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. For you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O loving God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful people with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. We ask this through Christ the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice with Jerusalem, and be glad because of her, all you who love her. Exult, exult with her, all you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breast. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over Jerusalem like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap as a mother comforts her child. So will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, may I never boast except 
in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For neither does circumcision mean anything, nor does uncircumcision, but only a new creation. Peace and mercy be to all who follow this rule and to the Israel of God. From now on, let no one make troubles for me, for I bear the marks of Jesus on my body. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Now at that time, the Lord appointed 72 others whom he sent ahead of him in pairs. He sent them to every town and place he intended to visit. And he said to them, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest, to send out laborers for his harvest. So go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. And do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, the dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. And so the 72 returned rejoicing and said, Lord, even demons are subject to us because of your name. And Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon full force of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus makes it very clear in the Gospel that not just the apostles, not just the disciples, but all of us, all of us who call ourselves Christians and decide to follow Christ have an obligation to share the good news. Now, I want to mention something that you people do very, very uniquely. Now, we begin this first weekend in July, and I want you to try to think of what we do here on these TV masses. I'm sure that you know people who take advantage of this TV mass. I would like to think of these people in a special way during this liturgy as we begin the month of July. Now, I know that you have some special friends who cannot get to church, but 
using the TV masses. I have a very, very special friend. He's very, very incapacitated at the moment. His name is Joel. And he's had some bad luck at this particular time. And I know that he watches these masses every Sunday. And this is spreading the good news. I want you to realize that this is a wonderful ministry that we have here in our diocese, the TV liturgies. And no matter what people may think, no matter what you yourself may think, this is a ministry where we share the good news of Jesus Christ, just as this rather lengthy gospel kind of orders us, commands us to do. I love the way the gospel ends. Those of us who share our faith, those of us who share our faith in different ministries, wherever the parish is or wherever, whatever parish we may belong to, our names are written in the kingdom of God. Let us profess our faith by professing the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Christ is only Son of God, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the, saints, the forgiveness of sins, sins the, resurrection the resurrection of the body, and the life of the lost. A loving and gracious God, we have heard your words, and now we politely ask you to listen to our requests that all members of the church might plant the seeds of good news and see the fruit of God's presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all peoples of the world share in the abundant harvest of God's salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick be healed, the sorrowful be comforted, and the distressed find peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That each of us may rejoice at being chosen to labor in God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you for listening to us, O gracious God. You so often call us your little children in the scriptures. And so we ask you as little children, grant us an answer to all our requests, which we make in the name of Jesus the Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Brothers and sisters, let us pray that our sacrifice today may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. O gracious God, may this oblation dedicated to your name purify us and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. We ask this through Christ the Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to our loving God. It is truly right, it is truly just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to joyfully give you thanks, 
Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with all the angels and the archangels and all the dominions and all the saints, as they sing to your glory, as without end we also acclaim. indeed holy, O gracious God, you are the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them at the time of Last Supper, as he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O gracious God, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember your church, all the people of God spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Pope Francis, Joseph our bishop, and all the clergy, all the people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the realization of rising again. Welcome them into the light of your face. We pray for ourselves. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, almighty God, forever and ever. Let 
Let us pray the way Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, deliver us from every evil. Grant us peace today, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you once said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, with your and let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, roof but only but say, say the, the word, word, and my soul, and my soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed.
Let us pray. O oh, gracious God, we pray that having been replenished by such Eucharistic gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended, so let us go to love and serve one another. Thanks be to God. We'd like to thank you for joining us this morning at uh, Sunday Mass. It's an opportunity for those shut in and those in hospitals and nursing homes to have an opportunity uh, to share in the celebration of Sunday, the Sunday Mass. Due to your generosity in the CSA and also your individual gifts that you constantly send us, this Mass is possible. And we ask that you continue to be generous because through your goodness, we are able to reach out to many and give them the presence and the peace of Christ and the glory of his praise and thanksgiving to his Father. We thank you very much. God bless you all and have a good day.